Hey, it's Craig from Nutriculture. I'm here with David, our resident lighting expert. And we're going to have a little chat about uh, CMH uh, lighting uh, to, get know, to get to know the product a little bit better, to understand it, why you might use it. So, starting with that, why would somebody use a CMH lamp? In our experience, what tends to happen is that people who they tend to move over to CMH lamps. CMH, if you didn't know, sense for ceramic metal halide. And what that is, just showing me, I don't know whether you can see this, this is this internal part here. Because it's got ceramic in it, it actually can burn hotter. And without going into the more technical detail, it actually gives out a full spectrum of light. So, going back to what I originally said, is that the majority of people tend to have already grown with HPS lamps, be it 600, be it 1000 watt. With the CMH, these are 315s, so instead of using 600 and 1000 watt, it's only using 315 watt, so your power consumption is a lot lower. With it being ceramic as well, it actually burns a lot hotter, but the actual temperature of the lamp is lower. So you actually save some um, some power on the actual uh, on your energy bills because you don't use a lot more ventilation and things like that. Oh. So really, it's a it's an upgrade. Yeah. On the HPS 600 and your HPS. 1, so anyone that's looking to take the road to the next level is going to move on to a CMH as opposed to a HPS lamp. It would be something that we would recommend. Okay. Um, and how long will a lamp last for? A lamp will last for two years. We say that you would actually, you need to replace your lamp every two years. But again, you would still do the same with a 600 or a 1000 watt HPS lamp. So two years, you would need to replace So nobody's lamp. really getting into a practice that they're not already doing. They should be changing it every two years. Exactly. Same yes. principle with these. Exactly the same. Okay. In terms of the grower, um, who's it suitable for? Is it like for larger scale? Is it for hobbyists? Who's it, who's it best aimed at? I would say it's, it, the, the spectrum is quite wide of who can actually use this lamp. If you're a larger grower, what you would probably want is something like the adjustable one, which you can actually change the actual width of the beam. Okay? For a uh, hobbyist, maybe using in a tent, and this is where we've got the benefit of the lower running temperature, something like the fixed reflector will be ideal because you're going to spend less um, there's going to be less power to actually try to take the heat away from the tent. So for the hobbyist, definitely it is a, an upgrade because it's going to save you, first of all, your power because it's 350 as opposed to 600,000 and also on the ventilation as well, trying to get the heat out of the tent so it's going to be a benefit to them. So it's going to be easier to manage your grow with a CMH as opposed to a HPS? In our opinion, it is a it is yes. Okay. So, in terms of the cost, is this more expensive than HPS? Yes, it is more expensive. Um, that is one thing that is a downside of the CMH equipment. It is more expensive than your ballast, your reflector, and your 600 watts. Will this see a benefit in terms of energy reduction, though? Will it account for the extra cost of a lamp? In our experience, yes, it does. Uh, the amount of money that you're going to be saving will after your after one year maybe maybe close to 18 months you will actually see a a, a, a saving of money so there's a long-term benefit in moving to a cmh but then there is but we also come on to the other thing is that in our experience the yield that you're actually getting from a cmh outweighs the yield that you're actually going to be getting from hps so there's a long-term and a short-term benefit very very much so very much so and we go back to Go back to the lamp. The lamp is the key here. Generally, with the CMHs, there's two colour temperatures. You've got your 3100, which is your full spectrum, and then you've got your 4200, which is your more blue spectrum. Okay. Your lamp is better. It's full spectrum than your HPS. With having a full spectrum, also you've also got the issue with UV and far red. Uh, red. Okay. okay. So one of the disadvantages of using the CMH is that please wear glasses when you're actually in your grow room or looking at the lamp because it can damage your eyes. So it's something that we've got to look into. Okay. Okay. So, so it is make sure that you're using gloves when you actually change the lamp and also invest in a pair of good glasses for when you're actually in the grow room when the lights are on. If you don't want to go to the grow room or attempt while the lights off. 
If you have a green light, use the green light so you don't wake the plants up so they have time to rest. David, thanks very much for your time. Some really good information on CMH lamps. If you want any more information, visit us at nutriculture.co.uk or any of our social media channels. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Um, if you would like to see any videos uh, around lighting, uh, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Thanks very much.